Hi everyone, this is Alina Rais. Today I'm going to talk about something very interesting, something that you people truly need, and that is about how to crack all your interviews. Yeah, this video is going to guide you on 7 plus 7. I'm going to tell you what the 7 and what this 7 is all about. So this video is going to guide you. It's like a complete guide on how you can crack almost every of your interview. I'm going to be talking about 14 points. And out of these 14, 7, 7 are for mindset and 7 are for your facade. What is facade? Facade is your exterior how you look like, how you present yourself, okay? So seven points about that and seven points, even more important, it's about what goes inside of you, what goes inside your head while you are either preparing for an interview or you're actually sitting through an interview. This is my belief that 70% of what happens in an interview of yours is actually dependent on what's going inside your head, okay? What's going on in your head. And 30% is about how you portray yourself, how you, um, how you present yourself. We're going to get into that. So let's start with point number one. And that is about preparing yourself. I see many a time people take this thing very lightly. The thing is that you are scared for an interview. You're worried that you want to clear it. You do not know if you will be able to clear it or you won't. This job is very important to you. This is very important for your career. But what are you doing to clear the interview? Are you actually looking through the material so that you can prepare for all the questions that, are, that may be asked to you? You are not sure as to what is going to be asked, but there is still a very good idea that you already have about the things that may be asked to you. There is a set of questions that is always asked. They are common in all the interviews. Why don't you start with those? So start with the most simple step. Start with the most simple questions that may be posed to you. Make a list of the questions that may be asked to you and start preparing for the answers. And one last thing that I have to mention here is that you need to be aware of what the company is into. You should know when the company was started. You should know what the company is into, where all they have their factories, what kind of a job they do, where are the clients, and a little bit about their clientele and stuff, you know? Also because you want to impress the HR, not just because uh, it's healthy for you, but also because it throws a very good impression on the other person. Let's go to point number two. Point number two is about not taking things lightly. I know as human beings, many of us have this problem of taking every important thing lightly. We are scared. We are petrified on the thought of sitting in the interview, but we are not doing anything about it. By lightly, I would mean that you you may be late for the interview or you may not prepare very well for the interview. You may not take care of the sleep one night before the interview. So these are little things that add up to you getting the job. Okay. So very importantly, you have to not take the things lightly. You have to take them very seriously. Okay. Please adjust your mindset according to that. Please do not be the normal casual self you otherwise are, especially before an interview, which is important to you. Point number three is being on time. And there's this thing I heard somewhere and I truly like on time is late. Yeah, so you have to be before time. You should actually, if I were you, I would reach at least half an hour before the time that is scheduled for my interview so that I reach the place, I can adjust my thoughts, I can adjust my clothes, I can adjust my stuff, take care of my resume and stuff. And I can be, you know, while sitting there, I can prepare for the interview emotionally. Point number four is keeping your anxiety under check. All of us are anxious sometimes. All of us are nervous about things. And I feel that little bit, some amount of nervousness is actually healthy for you. See, if I'm nervous about something, that means I truly want it. I truly want, okay, so I am talking about the positive things. There is a nervousness that is attached to the negative things also, but I'm talking about the positive things in life where I truly want something and that is why I'm nervous or anxious about it because I'm not sure if I'll perform well or I won't. This nervousness that you experience up to a certain level is healthy for you. Beyond that level, not good for you. So up to a certain level happening to you, good for you. That means you're not going to take things lightly. 
right but beyond that level if it is crossing the level it is giving you sleepless nights it is not it is taking away your focus it is it is shredding your confidence now that is where you need to pick you need to pick on it you need to uh, control it you need to tell yourself this is not good for you shake yourself up this nervousness may actually kill your interview meditate have some water go for a walk exercise there's so many things read a book read a book okay i'm reading this book by sam harris waking up searching for spirituality without religion good book anyway moving on to point number 4 point number 4 is not focusing on your problems when you're too close to your interview okay so your interview is right there you're about to enter the room or you're actually sitting in the room in front of the interviewer that is the time you should totally stop thinking about your problems because focusing on the problems is going to i feel i believe that it is going to um it's going to reflect on your performance it is going to make you appear very needy very needy as if you're literally begging for the job so next point is actually about point number 6 is actually about thinking about the good things if i clear this interview i will i will be able to gift my mom that xyz thing that she has always wanted or i will be able to send my mom and dad on a vacation or i will be able to buy a um, good phone for myself or i will be able to buy the laptop that i always wanted you know focus on the things that you always wanted i have actually done that now i i have not sat in an interview in a long while now but when i used to appear for interviews i was good with them and these were the things that i would actually practice on myself see when you will think about the good things you will automatically be filled with joy and when you will be filled with joy you know how crazy this one thing over here is it is so so fragile it can totally screw everything for you and it can totally make everything for you so it's entirely up to you what kind of thoughts you feed to your mind and that half an hour or one hour is extremely important to you you have to feed good thoughts to your mind okay so that they reflect in your persona they reflect positively on your personality one last point point number 7 is use internet's help i would always always look up the internet for the job interview that i was about to undergo i would look up the company i would look up the clientele i would look up the job requirements i would look up the competitors okay what all the other companies in the same domain are doing what new technology has been introduced how can i add value stuff like that use the help of internet you've been using internet for a lot of crazy things for a lot of useless things now this is one very good thing that you can use internet for so these were the seven points that were about the mental side of it the mindset part right now we are going to talk about seven things that are important on the exterior that are important on your facade okay facade is the front the side of the building that you see okay that is called a facade and it is also used um figuratively on human beings the way i am using right now okay so let's start with point number 1 be polite okay i don't have to tell you that you don't have to argue with the interviewer okay whatever you have to say say it don't hold yourself back say everything that you want to but say it in a polite manner because sometimes even when you are not even prepared that you think that you said everything right the other person might mind your words appear confident don't appear over confident so i'll give you an example here um सर मेरे से बेहतर तो इस जॉब को कोई कर ही नहीं सकता ना दिस इज ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस सर मैं ये जॉब बहुत अच्छे से कर सकता हूँ दिस इज कॉन्फिडेंस यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन बिटवीन कॉन्फिडेंस एंड ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस इफ आई से सर आई कैन बी गुड एट दिस जॉब गुड द इंटरव्यूअर विल लाइक ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ आई से सर नो बडी कैन डू दिस जॉब बेटर दैन मी आई गारंटी आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट गो एन टेस्टेड ना दिस इज ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस interviewer may actually take offense to that sentence of yours so you have to be polite okay you have to be kind you have to be a good human being while you're sitting through an interview let's move to point number 2 relax and keep a smile very important i know you take it lightly 
when you are sitting like now you must be thinking ma'am half an hour one hour how can i be smiling for one hour continuously you by smile i don't mean you have to do this no you don't have to do this all you've got to do is this okay yes sir no sir i understand sir little bit little bit don't overdo it okay so smile and relax yourself it's okay if there is a question posed to you which you are not prepared for and you are you don't like the question it's okay relax calm your mind take a pause you may even ask for a few seconds ma'am will it be okay if i borrow some time before i answer to this question something like this okay relax because while you're relaxed while you're composed you're calm it gives out extreme good signals about the kind of person you are companies are actually looking for people like those people who can compose and calm themselves down in extreme stress situations next point is dressing up by dress up i say i want to say dress up properly dress up what do i mean by dress up by dress up i mean you have to actually dress up okay you have to put uh efforts and you have to give it time to decide on what you want to wear just don't wear anything that you find in your wardrobe prepare at least one or two days in advance as to what you're going to wear to the interview it's imperative that you dress up smartly because that is the first thing that the interviewer is going to see when you walk into the room for the women i have one point especially for you less makeup okay do not overdo your makeup It gives a very bad impression loud makeup is going to take away your points don't do loud makeup keep it light wear well, but i don't mean that don't wear makeup definitely wear makeup if i were to go for an interview i would definitely definitely do makeup but don't overdo and you very well know for yourself what is overdoing point number 5 is actually crazy simple but it's crazy important ask for permission to sit when you walk into the room where your senior is sitting your interviewer is sitting you have to ask for the consent ma'am can i please take the seat you know there's this psychological thing that people say and i've heard it sometimes and i believe it works is that when you ask a favor even when you're not actually asking for a favor you just ask somebody for a little help they automatically like you somehow they they already like you when you ask them for a favor they they incline on helping you yeah so when you're asking them ma'am can i please sit down or ma'am please can i take the seat or sir can i please take the seat it's in a way asking for a little little tiny teeny help and i don't know psychologically i feel this does work in your favor it did work in my favor and that is why i'm telling you to do next point is extremely important it's imperative that you remember that you have to be straight okay put your things across straight don't beat around the bush but at the same time don't be offensive do not offend the other person in any way all right nahi main to aise hi hu isliye main kuch bhi bol dungi nahi nahi see i'm not asking you to change yourself i'm not asking you to show yourself as somebody you are not i'm not asking you to be fake i'm just asking you to be genuine okay i'm asking you to be a good person don't offend somebody choose your words wisely so that your thought is delivered your idea is delivered and at the same time you're not offending the other person they should like you from the start of the interview till the end of the interview for example if there's something he or she asks you and you do not have an idea about that particular thing or you haven't done that in the past they're asking you of certain experience which you do not have you can be direct you can tell them that ma'am i i truly understand that this must be important for the job and i'm ready to learn i'm ready to focus and put in my efforts but i'm sorry i do not have this experience as of now so life is all about learning new things and i'm all in for that something like that instead of saying nahi ma'am ye to meko nahi aata sorry ma'am i can't know everything so i don't know this no 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 don't do that okay say it in the manner i just told you the first half not the second half okay last is be active don't be dull active is okay your body language move your body a little bit move your hands a little bit don't overdo them okay don't overdo okay i'm talking to you and i'm moving my hands all the time no don't overdo it don't be dull 
okay use your gestures appropriately use them in a manner that they can support your communication and should not go against your communication okay so that is it that's all about it um you should not see i've actually seen people like these where they are like yes ma'am no ma'am yes ma'am no <laughs> don't do this okay at least appear smart yeah i've actually seen people like this i'm like i want to shake her up i want to shake this guy up like, what are you doing this is an interview going on where's your energy yeah so don't do that to the interviewer it's it's very irritating now in the end of this video i just want to say that once your interview is over it's over okay let it be over don't think about it don't ponder over it don't stress over it डोंट रिग्रेट अबाउट इट कि मैं ये अच्छा बोल सकती थी नहीं बोला अरे यार ये क्यों भूल गई इज इट हैपन्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स वेन आई मेक अ वीडियो फॉर यू देर आर थिंग्स दैट आई फोगेट सेंग इन द वीडियो आई फोगेट ओके आई वॉज सपोज टू से दिस आई फोगॉट एंड देन देर इज दिस स्मॉल ब्रीफ पीरियड ऑफ रिग्रेट के ओ शिट आई मिस इट बट यू नो वॉट इट्स ऑल राइट यू गॉड बी ओके विद योर फ्लॉज इट्स ओके इफ यू आर गोइंग टू मिस ऑन अ फ्यू थिंग्स एंड यू आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी गुड on some other things you're going to outperform yourself you're going to there are going to be instances where you'll be so proud that you didn't know that you could do so well and you'll be able to do and then there are going to be instances where you were confident that you will do brilliantly and you could not do yeah so that's my point once the interview is over please let it be over don't drag it on for yourself and if you're religious pray if you're not religious chill that's all about it um results are not up to you your effort is up to you so effort starts not just during the interview but much before the interview actually takes place so make sure you put in your best efforts you put your best foot forward and you grab every opportunity that comes in your way okay that's all about in the video today thank you very much i loved making this video for you there was so much i wanted to share with you and here it is thank you very much guys bye